When testing a DDR receiver, there needs to be an easy way to connect the tester through an adequate channel to the device or test. For DDR5, the following fixture components are, are available. Uh, the first uh, component is this uh, channel test card, or CTC2, which provides breakout channel to a ruggedized DIMM socket, as shown in the center of the CTC picture. This includes equally long traces from SMP connectors to the appropriate DIMM connector. The CTC, CTC2 also provides a set of replica channels with the same characteristics, and these are used for calibrations. In addition to that, various power sockets plus a USB connector used for programming devices that may be plugged into the DIMM socket is being provided. There will also be a golden channel modeling board, and this is used to provide different length standard compliant channels. But it's actually used for adding channel related impairments like ISI or crosstalk. Then there is or will be a different type of device test cards. These plug into the DIMM socket on the CTC2 and are used to test DIMM, DRAM, RCD, or buffer chip. I will talk more detailed about the device test cards later. Finally, there is the passive DIMM test card, which plugs into a DIMM socket, or which can be the CTC DIMM socket also. It provides signal breakout board, lock, command address, control, strobe, and data. This can be used for signal inspection, and it may also be used as an alternative calibration point for receiver stress signals. These signals are routed from the DIMM edge connector to the SMP connectors. As mentioned before, there are different potential device test cards. Well, there's a standard RDIMM, and that can be used to test individual components on the stem. The appropriate chip can be put into test mode using a serial programming interface connected to the RCD, which is on the RDIMM. From there, the RCD will be used to program the chip under test in virtual host mode. In addition to that, it is, it is possible to use different other test cards dedicated uh, uh, either for uh, the, uh, a clock driver, buffer, or DRAM components. The Compo test card finally provides a universal test card that can be loaded with different compo uh, component uh, com uh, combinations. Here, I am now going to explain the final type of test fixture, the CTC controller board. The controller board provides control to the device in the test through a normal USB connector. It basically includes an RCD and a microcontroller. Through the microcontroller, it is possible to get programming access to an RCD that may be on the device test card. The RCD on the controller card in turn, uh, controller test card in turn, is used in virtual host mode and provides programming access to the CA and clock bus. Essentially, the controller test card can be used to enable receiver testing for different device types that are plugged into the DIMM socket. If, if an, um, for example, an ATE is not available that could be uh, taking this task. The graph also shows the different test components like oscilloscope, bit error rate tester, ATE, or signal generator that may be used for testing the DUT receiver. 